Hello again. Today we're going to be talking about um, how to develop a Maclaurin series from a differential equation. So let's get started. Here's the idea. We have dy dx. It's expressed in terms of x and y and we do have an initial condition. Um, we'll call that 0 and y0. So we can sometimes find an explicit solution um, written as y in terms of x. But if we can't, what we can do is we can find an nth degree Maclaurin polynomial that will approximate um, an explicit solution around x equals 0. Okay, so here's what we do. We use dy dx and we find more derivatives using our derivative rules. So y prime, we already know that that's a function of x and y. The second derivative will be f prime of x and y. And the third derivative will be the second derivative of f and so on. The fourth derivative of y will be the third derivative of f. So we just keep applying derivative rules knowing that the nth derivative of y is going to be the n minus 1 derivative of that function f that's written in terms of x and y. So what we do with each of those, uh, once we've found as many derivatives as we need to find, is we replace x with 0 and we replace y with that value that we're given as y naught. So we're just going to plug those in. y prime of 0 is going to be what we get when we plug 0 and y naught into f. Same thing with all the derivatives. We're just plugging in that x and that y into every derivative that we need to. Now we'll be told um, how far to take those derivatives. Um, and we'll work from there. So here's an example. We have dy dx is equal to xy minus 3x, and the initial condition is that the y value at x equals 0 is 1. We need to find the first three non-zero terms of the Maclaurin polynomial for y. So we're going to use uh, derivatives to find um, an approximation, a Maclaurin polynomial that will approximate that function y. So dy dx, we're just writing it like that as uh, x times y minus 3. The derivative of that, we're going to have to use product rule on that. So the derivative will be y minus 3 plus x times dy dx. The next derivative is going to be um, dy dx plus dy dx plus x times d squared y over dx squared. And that's going to be 2 times dy dx plus x times d squared y over dx squared. So we're keeping track of our derivatives here, um, and I'll keep dy dx as dy dx and d squared y over dx squared as that. Um, because once I figure out one of those um, at the point, I can just plug that in. Um, the fourth derivative is going to look like that. And so at 0, 1, if I plug in x equals 0 and y equals 1 into dy dx, I get 0. Um, d squared y over dx squared at that same x of 0 and that same y of 1 is going to be uh, negative 2. Then if I plug those into the third derivative, now remember I'm plugging in not just x and y, but I'm plugging in dy dx. I'm now plugging in what I know is d squared y dx squared. I'm plugging in everything that I now know into the current derivative. And so if I do that for the third derivative, that's going to give me 0. And if I do that for the fourth derivative, that's going to give me uh, negative 6. Okay, And I think that's as far as I need to go because now I have three non-zero terms. So remember, this is what the Maclaurin polynomial looks like. Um, it's going to be the function value at 0 plus the derivative at 0 times x plus the second derivative at 0 over 2 factorial times x squared plus the third derivative at 0 over 3 factorial times x cubed plus the fourth derivative at 0 over 4 factorial times x to the fourth, and I keep going, but I don't need to keep going but because it looks like I have three non-zero terms if I stop at the x to the fourth term. So I'm going to use all of those things that I found in the previous slide, where y is 1, the first derivative is 0, the second derivative is negative 2, the third derivative is 0, and the fourth derivative is negative 6. And I plug those into that formula, and I get that the function y isn't exactly this, but around x equals 0, it behaves a lot like 1 plus 0x plus negative 2 over 2x squared plus 0 over 6x cubed plus negative 6 over 24x to the fourth. And if I simplify that, those zero terms can go away. And the non-zero terms, I have three of them, are 1 minus x squared minus 1 fourth x to the fourth. 
Okay, so if I actually were to solve this equation, and I did choose one where I could actually find the solution to this, uh, just to see how close I was. So dy dx can be written as x times y minus 3. I can divide both sides by y minus 3, and then I can set up integrals on each side. And what I will get is that the natural log of y minus 3 is 1 half x squared plus a constant that I don't know. I'm going to plug in 0, 1 because that was a point that I knew. Um, and I will get that the natural log of the absolute value of 1 minus 3 is equal to that constant. So the constant is the natural log of 2. I can plug that in for capital C now, and I get that equation there, which I just need to solve for y. So if I do that, um, I'm going to subtract the natural log of 2 from both sides. And I combine those two natural logs using my properties of logarithms. So it'll be the natural log of y minus 3 over 2 equals a half x squared. Then I can uh, raise both sides as an exponent of e, and I will get y minus 3 over 2 equals plus or minus e to the 1 half x squared. Um, and since 0, 1 is on the curve, then I need to use um, the plus or minus that will actually uh, have that point on its curve. And it turns out that the negative e to the 1 half x squared is the one that's going to have uh, the point 0, 1 on it. The positive part of that curve won't have that. So that is the actual solution to the differential equation. Um, now, remember, it's not always possible to find that. So if we can't find that, then uh, we can use a Maclaurin polynomial to approximate. Okay, so the Maclaurin polynomial for this function, if I were to actually go through the process of finding the Maclaurin polynomial for this function, um, and you can watch the video on how to do that, we would actually find the exact same Maclaurin polynomial. Um, I didn't want to go through that process here. It's a bit monotonous, but if that's something you want to do, you can do that. Um, if you have any questions about this process, please let me know, and I will see you tomorrow.